Uh, 817 right now. It's time again for Backstage on Broadway in partnership with the Broadway Channel. Yep, today we're getting a close look at the A Gentleman's Guide to Love to Murder. Tamsin Fidel has more. On this week's Backstage on Broadway, it has been called the little show that could. A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder has great actors, but no brand name stars, plus some title that's, well, a little peculiar, but it won the most coveted of all Tonys. And the Tony Award goes to A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Love and Murder? The Broadway audience is loving it because this show is killing it. This whole award thing, well, it, is, it is over at last. We sold so many, like a million dollars in tickets in a couple of days, and, and we've been playing to packed houses. Oh, I don't understand the poor. Jefferson Mays is one of the stars of Gentleman's Guide. We snagged him just after our recent performance, and he let us in on one of the dirty little secrets that's making this show a smash. I must say, I love wearing a dress. I'm, I'm confessing that to you. Um, it's, it, there's something very free and liberating, even a dress with a huge bustle in it uh, and, and artificial breasts. But I, I, I just enjoy the uh, being out of trousers. Mays plays eight different characters, the roles of six men and two women, all in one show. Mays is no stranger to multiple personalities in one show, but A Gentleman's Guide presents its own set of challenges. Doing the performance is like climbing Mount Everest every night. Um, I, I would say the costume changes, because some of them are only seconds long, and they happen in the dark. Both Mays and his onstage nemesis, Bryce Pinkham, were nominated for Best Leading Actor in a Musical this year. I am the next Earl of Highhurst. We're very proud of the show, and I, I, I knew from the first read-through that it was something special. Something special for sure. But even after they wrote the guide to love and murder, the authors had no guide to winning a Tony. It took them more than a decade to get this show to Broadway. The people who produced our show did it because they love it and they believe in it. The little engine that could did. The show also won Tony's for Best Book, Best Costumes, and Best Director. I'm Tamsin Fidel for Backstage on Broadway. The Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder is now playing at the Walter Kerr Theater.